Hi, my name is Ben Weiss. I'm here in another country with Today with God and Crosstalk, and we're super excited about what God is doing through the ministry of Crosstalk and Today with God. And this morning, I want to talk to you about King Asa. In 2 Chronicles chapter 14, we learn about King Asa, who's the king of Judah. He's one of those kings that's the good guys. He takes the high places and he gets rid of them. He honors the Lord in all he does. And at the beginning of chapter 14, we learn that he's 10 years into his reign and he's facing an Ethiopian army that is a million people. After doing a quick census, they find out there's 580,000 Israeli soldiers or soldiers of Judah. And what they have to do is figure out how they're gonna win. And what does King Asa do? He seeks the Lord, which is what we should all do. But he models this for us. He cries out to the Lord and he said, there's nothing we can do here. And it's here that we get the verse where it says, uh, whether by many or by few, the Lord can save. And he does. He goes and he rescues the king of Judah, King Asa, the, the warriors. And the Ethiopian army is defeated by the Lord is what it says. The victory that Judah and King Asa had was incredible. And they never even lifted a sword. God provided the victory for them. It's then that the prophet comes out and he says to King Asa and the people of Judah that if you will seek me, you will be found by me. But if you reject me, I will reject you. And it's an awesome encounter. And in 2 Chronicles uh, 15, they come together and they all say in unity, we will do this thing. They do it with shouts of praise and shouts of joy. And the whole community is in unity. that They're going to seek the Lord. They've had an incredible victory. God's protected them. And here they are committing to serve the Lord. At the end of 2 Chronicles 15, the people of Judah cry out in unity with sounds of praise and joy that they will do this thing. They will serve the Lord. 2 Chronicles 16 opens up and it says 26 years later. 26 years had passed since the victory over the Ethiopians. And now the king of Israel has laid siege against Judah. King Asa doesn't know what to do, so he reaches out to the king of Syria. And when he reaches out to the king of Syria, it says in scripture that he stripped the temple of the gold and the silver and he sent it as a bribe, as a, as a way to purchase the army to come. Well, the king of Syria comes and of course they do have the victory and the king of Israel leaves and King Asa reaches out to the king of Syria. His name is Ben-Hadad. And he bribes him, he pays him to come and help him. He strips the temple of all of the gold and all of the silver. And it's in that moment that the king of Syria says, okay, I'll come. And he comes and they do, in fact, have victory over the king of Israel. And it's in that moment when they have the victory that the prophet comes back out and he says, why would you not seek the Lord? The Lord helped you when you beat the Ethiopian army. Why would you not seek him to beat the king of Israel? King Asa gets upset. He, of course, punishes the prophet. And that's really the end of the story for King Asa. In reading this account in 2 Chronicles 14, the victory over the Ethiopians, in 2 Chronicles 15, where the people say in unity they will serve the Lord, and then in 2 Chronicles 16, where King Asa seeks the Syrian king, we learn so much. And it's this one question I want to ask you. Why would they not seek the Lord? I have one answer. It's my answer. My answer is this. They got comfortable. They stopped seeking the Lord. There was no struggle. There was peace in the kingdom. One version says it was quiet in the kingdom. We as a people tend to seek the Lord more often when we're in struggle and trial than when we're comfortable and at peace, at rest. The nation of Judah no longer knew how to seek the Lord because they had been in rest. They had been in peace for 26 years. And then when they faced their first trial, when they had their first battle, they didn't seek the Lord. They sought their own wisdom because it was at that point that that's all they knew how to do. I want to encourage you today that for the next 26 years, and obviously the 26 years is the time there in Second Chronicles, but what would be written about you? Are you going to be somebody who will seek the Lord? Are you going to be somebody who comes to God in the times of rest, in the times of peace, in the times of celebration, in the times of struggle? Or will you be somebody who tries to figure it out all on your own? 26 years passed. There was a covenant. They were serving the Lord in unity, and then they didn't. We all will have the same opportunity. We can make the commitment today to seek the Lord, and we will be found by Him. That's what it says. But for the next period of time, however long it is that you are serving the Lord, 
Will there be something written about you? Are you committed to seeking him? Are you committed to serving him? Are you committed to seeing the gospel go forward? Are you committed to, to walking out the commands of scripture? Or will you just be at peace and at rest and comfortable? You will face a trial. Paul tells us in, when he's talking to Timothy that we will face persecution. And, and the question is, will we seek the Lord or will we do it on our own? I've made the commitment. I want something to be written about me. I want my kids to know I serve the Lord in every area of my life. I want my grandkids to know that when trials came, I sought the Lord. When there was victories, I gave Him the glory. And in the regular mundane areas of my life, I was committed to knowing Him and serving Him. We have the same opportunities. 26 years have passed. They had the opportunity to seek the Lord, and instead they found their own list. Proverbs tells us, trust in the Lord, to lean on Him, to not do things in our own wisdom that He'll make our path straight. I want to encourage you today, have something written about you. Pass it on to the next generation. Seek Him and He will be found by you.